And as we also have amazing people from various countries around the world, I would like to call on every country representatives to let us know where we come from. So when I mention the name of your country, please stand up. <laughs> and to welcome to the delegates from Australia. <laughs> delegates from Kazakhstan. <laughs> Suspicious. And delegates from Papua New Guinea. Delegates from Myanmar.
that's all I really want to say. Um, we're here to meet you today. Um, we're going to be scurrying about doing lots of things over the next four days, but please come up and introduce yourselves and um, let's let's get to know you and, and what we can do to help you. Um, and that's it. Thanks a lot. And as there are numbers of countries from around Asia Pacific is coming today, we hope this initiative grows bigger and stronger after this meeting, not only stopping here, especially in Asia Pacific region. It can be started from CSOs, and our presence in here might be a step forward to bring openness into the next level in Asia Pacific. And as I mentioned before, after the coffee break, we will have parallel sessions. Now I will give the opportunity to Mr. Ilham Sainong to elaborate further about the parallel sessions. Please, Ilham. Hi, guys. Well, I am Ilham Sainong. I am yeah, the organizing committee of this uh, CSO day. Wonderful, wonderful day to meet you all, you guys. Uh, eh, Alejandro. <laughs> Well, um, we already quite a little bit late about the time, but we want to make sure that we still can proceed with a good conversations within the day. So, my uh, idea is to have uh, the whole sessions as we plan. Um, then after this, we are going to have the first parallel sessions. <laughs> Well, the participant will be divided into three different categories of sessions. Here, we will have the civic space. Uh, the organizing committee will uh, prepare after the um, coffee break. And here, the post-2015. And there, the internal mechanism or the compliance. So, we will have around 90 minutes to discuss regarding the conditions of each country and the, sec the second reflecting the context, analysis behind these causes and the last one, what is our demand to the government, particularly to the chair of the OGP and the steering committee of course. The most important that this event want to be very productive. Of course, we have conversations, but in the end of the day, we are going to have what we call a concrete recommendation or a communicate. If you guys agree with this, and then let's do it together, show the world that the civil society can make this happen. Are you agree with us? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Thank you very much. After this, we have a communicate.